Hi, this is Colleen from Keeping the Peace Defensive Handgun Training for Women, and today I want to talk to you about some hazards that women face while concealed carrying a firearm during the wintertime months. There are some different things you need to consider when dressing yourself in cold weather so that you don't inhibit your access to your defensive firearm in case of emergency. First, you need to think about your coat. If you wear a coat in the winter, you might want to keep the front of it open. In other words, don't button or zip it. That way, if something happens, you can easily access your firearm. The other thing would be consistency with the coat and the concealed garments that you wear underneath because you probably are going to be layering in cold weather. So keeping the same type of access for consistency is a good thing. I wouldn't want a closed front concealed carry garment underneath an open front coat because then I have to open a front and then lift up and that's a little bit complex for an emergency situation. So just consistency between the garments. Scarves are a big concern. If you wear them loose and long, like I have this one, it could cause a hazard in drawing the firearm because it could get caught in between your hand and the gun. So if you were going to wear it long and loose, you would want to make sure that you're very vigorous about clearing the garment. Um, a better way to do it would be make sure that you tie it up on the opposite side of your body from the gun, keeps it out of the way. Or you might want to do an eternity type scarf, like this one. and make them short so that they don't get in the way. They still keep the, the neck and the front part of your body warm, but they don't inhibit access to your gun. So that might be something that you want to consider. If you're not one who crochets, so you don't want to make your own, you could take a regular scarf that you purchased at a department store, take the two ends and just sew them together with a really neutral colored thread and then you could actually double the scarf over to make a shorter eternity scarf. Another thing to think about is keeping your hands warm in the winter. Most of us have cold hands in the winter time and we like to wear something over them. Um, but for several years I was wearing no gloves in the winter because I couldn't shoot with gloves on very well. Um, I hadn't found any that were the right thickness to be able to control my trigger well with them on. But these are a great option. They look silly, mittens, you know, it doesn't seem like a good idea, but underneath they're finger gloves. So if I had to go draw my firearm, all I would have to do is clear the fingers and then I'd be ready to access the firearm without a problem. So these are a great idea. These are probably eight or nine dollars at Walmart. I'm sure there are better um, makers of these type of gloves, but this concept works very well for concealed carrying. Just a few things to think about if you're a lady trying to figure out how to keep yourself warm in the wintertime and still be able to access your gun well. I hope that these things help. And if you have sorted through some of these types of things yourself or other clothing hazards that I haven't covered in this video, I'd love to hear what you have to say, what you have discovered in your own personal training. Um, because the last thing you want to do is get caught up in your clothes it was someone's attacking you. You want to be able to get to your firearm effectively and quickly without something getting hung up. You also want to make sure that when you're reholstering, pieces of your clothing aren't getting caught between the gun and the holster because the last thing you want is resistance in the holster. Um, you'll probably read on the internet people that have felt that resistance, ignored it, shoved the gun in anyway, and have shot themselves, you know, in, well, shot themselves. We don't need to go into the places that they've shot themselves, but if you do happen to reholster and feel any type of resistance, you want to actually take that gun back out, clear the garment again, and then reinsert the gun into the holster. So um, I would suggest that while you're sorting through all these things that you do dry file drills, um, empty out your gun, pick a safe location in your house to aim at, and work around your clothing options. If you're changing different items in your wardrobe, like different types of concealed carry garments that are different weights and consistencies, they're going to clear a little differently. So make sure you do dry drills. I'd recommend 20 smooth draws from the holster with each different type of garment you wear before you leave the house wearing it. So these are just some tips. I hope they help. Colleen from Keeping the Peace.
Thanks. Have a great day. God bless you. Bye-bye.